the term Panzergrenadier was introduced in late 1942 and was applied to the infantry component of the Panzer divisions as a historical homage of Frederick the Great's army. Whenever tanks bypassed points of stiff enemy resistance, it was the job of the Panzergrenadier to clear up these pockets. Although the classical image of the Panzergrenadier is associated with the Sonderkraftfahrzeug 251 half-tracked armored personal carrier, there were never enough of these vehicles to equip Panzergrenadier formations to full strength. In most cases, only one battalion was equipped with APCs. The other battalions were transported in soft-skinned vehicles like trucks. It was only at the time of Operation Barbarossa in 1941 that large numbers of 251s became widely available. Although the 251 provided decent protection against small arms fire, they only had 13 mm of armored plate. Thus, they became vulnerable to even the smallest caliber anti-tank weapon and suffered accordingly. Due to heavy losses suffered amongst half trucks when accompanying. Therefore, instead of driving into the midst of enemy position, the Panzergrenadiers normally debussed at a forming up point or start line away from the enemy's line of sight. Then they attacked in the conventional manner of infantry supporting tanks. The key tactical advantage was that because of their motorization they could be brought into battle as soon as they were needed. At the lowest level the basic Panzergrenadier unit was the squad, usually about 12 men mounted in the same half track. The squad was led by a squad leader, usually a junior NCO, who was armed with a machine pistol. On the move, he also commanded the vehicle and fired the vehicle's mounted machine gun. His rifle-armed assistant, the deputy squad leader, was normally a lance corporal and could leave the whole squad if it was divided. The squad contained two light machine gun teams, each of two men, four rifle-armed infantrymen, and the driver and co-driver. The driver was also responsible for the care of the vehicle and expected to remain with the transport. A Panzergrenadier platoon was made up of three squads, with a platoon HQ in a separate vehicle. When the squad was transported by a half-truck, the vehicle was mounted from the rear. The deputy squad leader was responsible for closing the door, thus he would sit towards the rear of the vehicle and the squad leader would sit at the front. These vehicles were open-topped and on the move it was usually for one man to scan the skies constantly for aircraft, while others kept a watch on both sides of the vehicle. When a platoon was driving together, close order for the convoy was usually 5 to 10 meters apart in a column or even abreast in open country. In combat, the gaps were extended to beyond 50 meters. If the whole battalion was deployed, the preferred formation was the arrowhead. Even under ideal conditions, a Panzer division was not expected to advance more than 20 kilometers a day, and the average road speed of the APCs was approximately 30 kilometers per hour. In combat, the drivers were trained to simply ignore or drive through small arms fire, 
but the presence of enemy artillery or anti-tank guns usually saw them seek cover. The squad's machine gunners might well engage targets on the move, as could the rest of the squad if necessary from the sides. When advancing, the 251s could utilize a motorized version of fire and movement, advancing, stopping and firing to cover other half-tracks. A stopped APC provided a good firing position, but was very vulnerable. So, it was not recommended to stop for more than maximum 20 seconds in hostile terrain. The normal dismounting procedure was via the rear of the vehicle, however in emergencies the squad might well jump over the side as well as out of the back. This was quite often performed on the move at low speeds. Once dismounted, the Panzergrenadiers fought as normal infantry troops. Although the Panzergrenadiers' key role was to cooperation with the tanks, they could fight on their own. The flexibility was a vital component of their value. They could fight as infantry offensive and defensive actions, assault vital strong points, seize bridges and clear urban or wooded areas. The current German army, the Bundeswehr, still has Panzergrenadiers, who act as mechanized infantry and escort for tanks and other armored fighting vehicles. So basically, their role is the same.